In this video, we are going to see how we can read large CSV files using OpenCSV library. In my previous video, we have used read next method where we are reading line by line. In this video, we are going to implement read all method where we are going to read all the lines once using the read all method and we are going to put that into the list. Then we simply need to iterate in this list. So. Uh, let's get into the video guys. Sorry, let's get into the implementation directly here. I have this uh, class called read all CSV and I have the main method here. Okay, so uh, let's take CSV reader first. Something like CSV reader as CSV reader new CSV reader of new file reader okay that means because we are reading it from the file so i am using the file reader this is a very very common thing so let's point it to our csv file this is my uh, location guys so let me copy the path here Then let me copy the name of the file. Let me open this file once guys because it is a huge file. You could see this is a 923 KB file and here you point it as CSV. Okay. So we have the very big CSV file like this. Okay. Then what you can do is import the csv readers once i have a csv reader i have the file reader and i need to put it into the uh, i think the spelling is r capital here and uh, we need to put into the try catch guys because the file not found exception might come either you can use throws or file catch everything is fine here then csv reader dot here if you see read all method we have so what basically is does is it is going to read this all the data into the csv file into the list and it is going to kept into the as i said it's a list right so list string away okay something like lines i'll keep it okay because it's a set of lines list is coming from the util package then uh, this is same similar io exception and csv exception here what happens is for loop now we have the lines right so this part of the code i am going to iterate this part okay so that means i have string array of line inside lines okay then inside that means where i am i am at each and every line okay each and every line once it goes to the loop inside this for loop i am at each and every line but if you let's consider this hundredth line okay if you see this hundredth line it is having the columns right how many columns are there here it's n but in your case we don't exactly know okay so what we do is uh, again this line we are going to iterate okay something like for loop i'll take i is equal to zero i less than line dot length i plus plus so here it's dynamically going to each and every column okay instead of um, Instead of giving 0, 1, 2, 3 here, because we don't exactly know how many number of columns will be there uh, in your case. So I suggest you to go for the length uh, uh, for loop like this. Okay. Then um, what you can do is simple for our case, I am simply using it as a print statement. Okay. Something like line of I, I have once every line is completed. I'll keep a you know uh, new line backslash end okay 
I think this should be enough guys if you execute this you could see this right we have an entire CSV file and we have displayed them in the uh, you know column each and every column dynamically okay so this is a use of read all method guys in my previous video we have seen the read next so if you have time i suggest you guys to give it a try on that as well and i'm going to prepare you know few tutorials on this open csv concept so i suggest you guys to you know uh, go to this playlist called open csv this playlist okay and uh, yeah this is about the video guys i hope you guys gonna like it and if you are not subscribed i suggest you guys to subscribe as well thank you so much for watching thank you